what healthy foods to eat. But the rate of obesity and type 2 diabetes are an indication that we aren't eating like we should. We're not getting it. Our next guest says it's confusing for a reason. That's why we need to take control of what's on our plate. Welcome back, author of Eat This, Lose That, Dr. Coda Reddy from Ready Cardiac Wellness. Hi. Thank you. Okay. So I made that point that we have information everywhere, online and books. It's one of the number one topics that people talk about and cover, yet we still aren't eating right. That is correct because there are a lot of myths and there's a lot of uh, misinformation. The first question you should ask is, if you, if you want to gain weight, what should you eat? Sugar and starch. If you want to develop diabetes, what should you eat? Sugar and starch. If you want to develop diabetes, what should you eat? If Sugar you, and starch. Yes. If you want to keep the diabetes flowing and going, what should you eat? Sugar and starch. So what is the one thing you should learn about? Everything about sugar and starch and avoid it. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to put a couple of audience members to the test here. We have Nicole and Tori. And you play along at home as well. We have a couple of uh, health food questions here. Uh, now, on your table up there in front of you, you have like oatmeal, banana, spinach, shredded wheat wheat, avocados, and almonds. And so the first question is, which has the highest amount of fiber? Ring in, which one has the highest amount of fiber? Okay, ladies. Uh, avocado. You think the avocado has the most amount of fiber? Um, the banana. The banana, okay. All right, the second question, we'll reveal the answers in a minute. Second question, what's the best source of fiber with the least amount of sugar? Banana, spinach, shredded wheat, avocado, almonds, or oatmeal? Which oatmeal. One? Oatmeal, you think the oatmeal is the uh, best source of fiber with the least amount of sugar, all right? What do you think? Spinach. Spinach, okay. And number three, which item has the most potassium? Mm. Okay. What's your the answer? Walnut. The walnut. The what now? Is the it walnut? Yeah. Yeah. The, okay. Uh, it's an almond, but that's okay. Uh, we'll banana? Make... <laughs> oh, 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 you can say banana. Yeah. We oftentimes hear that bananas have. <laughs> I get my nuts confused right, too. Right. And basically, I am one. Okay. <laughs> And what are you thinking? Avocado. Avocado. Okay. So you thought maybe it's the almonds or the uh, or the uh, banana, and you think the avocado. All right, Dr. Reddy. Well, the answer for all the three questions is avocado. Avocado is high in fiber. Avocado is low in sugar, and avocado is high in potassium. Okay, but here's where we get into trouble because we've all heard that avocados are high in fat, right? So we're like, girl, don't eat that guacamole because you're going to get fat. All right, there's a difference between the kind of fat we're talking okay, about. Okay, three things. One, avocado is high in fat, but it's mostly good fat. Two, eating fat never makes you fat. Let me say that again. Eating fat does not make you fat. Three, not only does it give you good fat, but it also gives you a lot of fiber and potassium. Most people eat bananas for potassium, but avocado gives you twice the amount of uh, potassium. Second, most people sit down to eat cereal with shredded wheat. That's serving, that is each serving is cup and a half. Okay. That's almost 40 grams of carbohydrate. If you have diabetes, what happens? Your blood sugar go up over 400. Because yeah, that carb turns that's to right. sugar, basically, and in your most, body, right? That's right. And most people eat more than that. So huh. the point you have to ask is, if I'm eating something, and if I have diabetes, or if I'm obese, what are the two things I should avoid? Sugar and starch. All right. Well, ladies, thank you very much for playing along. Uh, one of Dr. Reddy's patients feels the reason why she is alive is because she finally figured out how to make food her medicine. Before going to Dr. Reddy, she really thought her eating habits were basically fine. My diet was so bad, I just never realized. I mean, I think a fruit smoothie was good for me. I think eating steel-cut oats was a great breakfast. Um, put a little berries on there, that would be good. But um, I've learned that I was just poisoning myself with all of the sugar and starches that I was eating. Please welcome Sandra Braswell. Is not eating that way anymore. No, good morning. Thank you. How are you? Good morning. Thank you. Okay, so what health issues were you having? I was discovered to have diabetes about a year ago, mm -hmm. and the doctor gave me a prescription for medication. It didn't work, so he increased it. I, I, I love it. When you say that, that to me is a red flag. The medication didn't work, so we increased it. Yes. That's, that's always the case. Yeah. That's always the case. And so what we're going to here is medicating a problem instead of what you and our other doctors on the show say, get rid of what's causing the that's problem. That's right. Either go after the cause or start treating the patient. And you keep treating the patient with more and more medications. So. Well, then I asked him to send me to a dietitian. I did that for a month, saw no difference. And was I it just, because the food choices just weren't? Well, I thought I was eating healthy, still cut oatmeal, uh, fruit smoothies, you know, that type of thing. Well, anyway, I um, sat down with a cup of coffee, which I can't have anymore, <laughs> and um, watched you, and I, my mouth just dropped. I was like, 
this sounds like the man that I need to go see. Uh, you saw Dr. Reddy here on yes, Great Day Houston. On your, uh -huh. on your show. And I wrote down his name and immediately called and made an appointment to go in. And um, I just didn't want the results my family had. There was a lot of diabetes in my family, and I watched it devastate my family, and I didn't want that to happen. Yeah, and Dr. Reddy, because we say the word diabetes, but it's we have to point out number one reason for heart disease, number one reason for amputations, renal failure, kidney, you know, all, just, all these different blindness, all these different problems. It is a killer. It is a killer. Plus, you're forgetting the main thing: dementia. The commonest cause for dementia is diabetes. Yeah. So and you saw this happen with that dementia. When, she says at point she saw it devastate her family. A lot of people still believe also that it runs in families because it's genetic, because it's DNA. That's exactly what she thought. She said it runs in the family, and four of her siblings died of diabetic complications. She being the youngest, she developed diabetes. She wanted to change, but she went to the doctor, went on treatment, went stayed on the same diet, went to the dietitian. Nothing worked. She continued to get worse. Yeah. And then I went to see him. I I bought his book that day and made an appointment to come back and. Within two days of going on his diet, not diet, but proper way of yeah. eating, my blood sugar dropped below 100 and it stayed there. Wow. Before that, her blood sugar was 300 plus. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And on this is the thing that I think is so hard for people to believe. And a lot of times, by the time people come to you, Dr. Reddy, it's because they tried everything else. And then they think, okay, what do I have to lose? And all of a sudden, they realize how easy that was to do to begin with. And when we say eating better or diet, whatever you want to call it, um, I look through all the food here because people always stop me and say, what kind of food can, food can we eat? It's all real food. There's not there's nothing crazy on there. It's all real food. Lean meats, the right fruits and vegetables, or right vegetables and things. So anyway, it's crazy because when you say food is my medicine, you experience firsthand how it really is your Absolutely. medicine. Absolutely, I feel fantastic. I sleep well. I've got my energy back, and it's knowing how to eat. Yeah. Some other points. One, on medications, her blood sugar was 300 plus. Within two days, on just simple diet, the diet which she bought in a grocery store, no, medi no vitamins, no antioxidants, no supplements, no medication, just by the diet, buying in a grocery store, her blood sugar dropped under 100 in less than two days. In less than 15 days, she dropped how many? 15 pounds? 15 pounds. 15 pounds. And she started feeling better. Her cravings were gone. And she used to always look for a snack. She doesn't look for snacks anymore. She's sleeping better all by just changing the diet. Yeah, that's crazy because the red flag should be if you're on medication and you're not getting better and they want to prescribe just even more, that's not solving the problem. One other thing, remember you said the complications? She had neuropathy and on the diet within three weeks she saw a significant improvement in the neuropathy. Yeah, because that neuropathy Absolutely. was heading toward amputation oh, yeah. possibly at some point. I mean, it was hard for me to walk. My feet hurt. My legs hurt all the time. No? No. No. All right. Well, for more information or to get a copy of Dr. Reddy's book, you can call Ready Cardiac Wellness at 281-491-0044, 281-491-0044, or visit readybread.com. And in that book, it just spells out for you the foods that you can eat and spells out uh, for you what happens when you are a type 2 diabetic and how to reverse that. That's one of those things that we actually have the power to reverse. Thank you. And don't forget to log on to Facebook to let us know your most bizarre beauty routine. We talked about the virtues of avocado. It also makes a great face and hair mask. We'll share some of your comments a little bit later on in the show. Up next, we may love the knowledge that comes with aging, but a lot of us don't like the appearance of getting much older. From extra fat to wrinkles, blotches, and just feeling tired, it can all be taken care of under one roof. We'll take you there next.